Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to remove the annoying grub command line screen that appears after you've uninstalled Ubuntu from a dual boot setup. First, press start, type CMD, right click command prompt, and choose run as administrator. We need admin access to work with system level partitions. Next, type disk part and hit enter. This opens the Windows Disk Management tool inside CMD. Now type list disk and press enter. Find the disk where Windows is installed, usually disk 0. Type cell disk 0 or replace 0 with the correct number if yours is different. Type list vol to list all volumes. Look for a volume that's formatted as FAT32 and labeled as System. This is your EFI partition. Then type cell vol Y, replacing Y with that volume number. To make changes, we need to assign a temporary drive letter. Assign letter equals Z, or choose any and used letter. In my case, I have already renamed it. Now type exit to leave disk part. Back in CMD, type C and press enter to move into the EFI partition. Then type DIR to see the contents. If you see a folder named EFI, go into it by typing CD EFI. Then type DIR again. Look for a folder named Ubuntu. That's the leftover grub bootloader. To delete it, type. Rumdir slash s Ubuntu. When it asks for confirmation, type Y and hit enter. That's it. You've just removed Grub and restored the Windows bootloader. No more command line boot screens. Your PC should now boot straight into Windows with no issues. If this helped, give the video a thumbs up, comment below if you had any problems, and subscribe for more helpful tech tutorials. See you next time.